you know, like the atheist video I did, I mean, this video may trigger some folks. It may not. My opinions or my attempts to show things I see, things that I ponder. This video was no exception. So let's get into it. Equality. You know, the definition of equality is a state of being equal, especially in status and rights and opportunities. Now, usually I look at folks weird when they use it in the usual context. Equality and societal norms, societal issues and solutions to those problems. But I'm saying, we aren't born at the same time, nor are each and every one of us born in the exact same circumstance. Matter of fact, each of us have unique DNA. We're all an amalgamation of our parents. So as they are both unique, so too are we born unique. Some of us have inherent advantages while others of us do not. Nature itself has already dictated that we each have different retinas and different point of view. No one sees the same as the next person. Different fingerprints as well. We each literally leave a different mark on what we touch and what we do. How are we supposed to measure equality when all of us are actually different? Well, before you attempt to answer the above question, I gotta point out that currently, equality in its true definition does not exist in society. And I think I just pointed out numerous reasons as to why that shit hasn't happened yet. However, in history, there have been extreme cases that serve to equalize civilization to a degree, and I'll touch on these cases later. But for now, let's set the equal playing board. If we go by definition, then on my equal playing board, we're all human beings and are thus subject to the same trial and tribulations that come with the human experience. No one is exempt. It does not mean that you get the same house I worked hard for, nor does it mean you get preferential treatment. However, we should have the same kind of chance for education, and we should have the same opportunities for growth in our neighborhoods. Every man, woman, and child should potentially be able to achieve somewhat of the same things. Now keep in mind that last rule is me bending the shit out of reality. I mean, I'm already bending it like crazy. As I pointed out earlier, biologically we're all different. So what you can do with ease, I may need tons of years to do it, or I may never be able to do it because physiologically, I'm not able to do it as well as you. LeBron James compared to you. But this is fantasy, so let's go to the trials and tribulations of life. Human beings do bad and good to each other. The bad comes with life, unfortunately, but this is reality. We have a reptilian side and there are those among us who give into that nature. We also have urges. Some of those urges scare us, some give us pleasure, and people act on those urges in savage ways at times. No human would be exempt from that in an equal world. No good neighborhoods, just neighborhoods. No safe parts of town, just the people of the town. So when a person that identifies with the LGBTQIA community is killed, equality would dictate that a human being was killed. But no rallies, because we are all already equal. You just gotta wait for the authorities to find the killer like everyone else. Yes, we shouldn't kill, but humans do it anyway. This is part of the human condition. People are also made fun of. Children are the worst when it comes to this, but it's part of growing up. It's fair game. It always has been, it'll always be. Matter of fact, until a child knows better, making fun of different children or being mean is what many do. But adults do the shit too. And in an equal society, you can speak against it as your ridicule for being a transgender. However, anyone and everyone is made fun of at some point. That's reality. That's equality. They make jokes about Asian, black, white, Russian. In an equal world, anyone is fair game for being made fun of. Gay, lesbian, transgender, run it down the line. Indonesian, Polynesian, 
Run it down the fucking line. Equality means for all. No one has more, but no one should have less. Women, are you the weaker sex? Or are you the stronger sex? In an equal world, you would be a woman. No more and no less. You have two legs, feet, opposable thumbs, brains. You can and will do the work of a man. And a man will do the work you do as well. You will work irregardless of how you're feeling emotionally or physically at the time. Not because that's what a man does. That's that chauvinistic thinking. Nope. It's because other women in other countries are doing the same. We are all working and pulling our weight. Regardless of gender. We all work. No one gets preferential treatment. And to be clear, sexual harassment would be a two-way street. Giving a male coworker a compliment can be easily misconstrued as coming on to him. The typical pass that men give to flirtatious women would be non-existent. And any man who reports sexual harassment toward a woman will not be looked at as a weak male or less of a man. In a world of equality, the less stigma, the better. A fight between two men and two women is no different than a fight between a man and a woman in a bar. There's no catering to opposite sex. Pity exists, but not because you're a woman. In an equal world, you got an equal chance to beat this guy's ass. That is, if you can fight. If anyone does a crime, the punishment is the same. Anyone. No amount of money or ethnicity or gender is looked at. It's about the crime. And are they in fact guilty of it? I could go on, but why keep talking about a scenario that doesn't exist? I find myself asking, do people even want this scenario, this equal playing field? Ask yourself a question. Don't you like preferential treatment? Regardless of what you wished, doesn't it feel good to be one of the few, the special, and not quote unquote everyone else? Especially when your life depends on it. Oh, it's a real fucking question, ain't it? So what I'm saying is that people want what they feel is the best life, not a normal life the rest of us lead. They want a great neighborhood. No one's saying anything negative about them. They want the ability to live their life outwardly with no one even looking twice at them in a negative manner. Shit, even rich people don't have all that. Equality. As I said, who are we to know what it really means when we each have different points of view by design? If you're black, equality is getting what white people have. They are the supposed majority in this country, and so that's the measuring stick. But if you know anything about history, then you know that the spoils go to the victor. History states that ancestral whites took a good portion of these American lands by force from the indigenous tribes. Subsequent generations have benefited from those actions and continue to do so. Now, ultimately, the strides black people have made gaining a measure of even civil rights, not even equality, just the right for one man to be civil toward the other and not fucking kill him for being black. Winning that fight has cost countless lives, including the lives of key figures in American history, to say nothing of property damage due to riots and civil unrest, and ultimately, a form of generational anxiety and distrust that is just now being looked at as a form of PTSD. My point is, the white equality you're looking for, look at who you're asking for equality from. The price is going to always be blood, with you as a black man painted as a savage. If you're the victor of a battle, why should I give you half of anything I have? Why should I be equal to you? I would like to believe diplomacy and peaceful discourse can bring equality. But it's very difficult when one party wants equality and the other really does not want you to have what they have. The shit isn't deep, black people. It really isn't. I said earlier, extreme circumstances brings equality. I meant it. Disease, famine, natural disasters. These things bring people together like nothing else. Oh, I've seen it. The reason is that everyone is going through it. Everyone at that moment is equal. I've also seen an equality brought on by fear. 9-11 united quite a few people, at least until it degraded into racism against Islam and anyone of Middle Eastern descent. But for a while, everyone was equal in their fear of terrorism. But hey, as I said, 
extreme circumstance. But normally, on a daily basis, despite the rallies and cries of, we just want to be treated like anyone else, no, the reality is that anyone else is normal. And normal people can live boring lives. Normal people go through normal issues that others don't seem to care about because they are normal too. Normal folks can get killed and only their family and friends care. Normal folks are simply that, normal. You walk past them every day and you don't give a fuck unless they look abnormal, meaning crazy, deranged, hair fucked up or just colorful. Abnormal can be a man transitioning to a woman or vice versa. Abnormal can be a big muscular black man or a slim brother with a ton of tattoos. Abnormal can be a beautiful woman, stunning, or a super handsome man. You get the drift. Me? I've always said fuck fitting in. Especially when it's obvious that I'm different. Ain't about getting in where I fit in, cause that's like I need to fight for my spot. I'm here already. My spot is solidified. Matter of fact, my ancestral roots are already established. Do you really want to be just anyone else? Or do you want to stand out and be different? Do you want the same treatment as a normal person? Or do you want your assault or death to be a rally cry for others? Do you want to go to the hospital and be treated like you? Or would you rather be treated like the President of the United States? Just ask him. See, I'm thinking we aren't fully seeing our potential, especially when we look at what others have. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not appreciating just what we all bring to the table. See, I'm thinking in a society that cares more about what's trending than human lives, it's probably best to be abnormal. I'm also thinking in an age where attention is the new currency, that it may be wise to see standing out as the new way to stand up, considering what equality really means. Do you really want equality? And that's to African-American, women, LGBTQIA, equality. Do you want that? Or using your collective influence as a way to check the imbalance of power in this country. You know, sometimes what works in reality is better than the dream that plays nicely in our heads. Stop bullshitting yourselves. The truth is, you're all unique. Work with that shit. Hmm?